Кой ще стрим запусти въобще? Да, не, мъчът си. Си ми не иска. И не смог? Пепи си? He's so good. So he's orbing top site. Uh, he probably has like tech, like a molly, but he's also doing it because it lets him pair the snake bite here. This orb stops them from pushing through towards water. Pretty crazy. And he can do this goofy tech and sneak onto the box thing, which is very unexpected, like for sure. It's actually pretty crazy. I want to watch it again. Yeah, like you can just see when he's coming look where they're looking you see not, none of them are looking and the chamber's got to hit a crazy flick yeah he's using this orb consistently i like it no it actually might not be bad wait let me um i need to look at what this orb looks like for the waterfall pushers it might not even be bad uh on solo i think you might need killjoy but maybe not double controller because the idea is if you have killjoy you have this orb You're not walking that way. Molly lands here. Molly pops here and here. Aren't you? F yeah, you can also, you also don't even need to, um, you don't need to come all the way over. Like this is my head. You see, you can actually peek. You're going to see like everybody. You don't even need to jump over. You're like only jumping if you're going to fight over here. It'd be really weird. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see this orb from that one. Bro, it's actually... I, this orb's actually really good. This orb's insane. Pro analysis now happens every Monday through Thursday, live on stream. I choose the best one each week to upload to YouTube. The rest of the VODs are all available to Tier 3 subscribers on Discord. Thank you so much for the support. Enjoy the analysis. He's got fake Ananas on his team. I know that guy. I don't hear see, carefully. Damn, he's so good. Remember when I'm like, they'll always rush pistol around anyways. He sits here, doesn't hear anything, and he's gone. And then, yeah, it is there. Okay, five uh, days more minimum. Every day stream, every day long stream. No, 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 Interesting. I think he's trying to threaten the lurk or some shit. We'll see if he does that again. Grab or B. Yeah, he's not doing it. Again, I think he's threatening it. Because they have double controller. Doesn't that angle get prefired a lot? Yup. Pretty standard ball. So, as expected, we're seeing Nets play a lot of C because he is Viper and Viper likes to anchor and she likes to play weak side because she's a very strong agent so far we've mostly just seen this type of routing this type of routing uh he went this way Nice. 
He's so good. Bro. So he's orbing top site. Uh, he probably has like tech, like a molly, but he's also doing it because it lets him pair the snake bite here. This orb stops them from pushing through towards water. It's pretty crazy. And he can do this goofy I can sneak onto the box thing, which is very unexpected, like for sure. It's actually pretty crazy. I want to watch it again. Yeah, like you can just see when he's coming. Look where they're looking. You see? Not, none of them are looking, and the chamber's got to hit a crazy flick. Is it Viper Cheese Tech? It's a fine cheese right now. I need to know what you think it means for me to answer the question. A hard punish in pro play works well in rank? Yep, it's not a pro play clip because pros won't go for a 1v2 risk dry peak like this. They won't do this. Yeah, he's using this orb consistently. I like that. No, it actually might not be bad. Wait, let me... Um, I need to look at what this orb looks like for the waterfall pushers. It might not even be bad uh, on solo. I think you might need Killjoy, but maybe not double controller. Because the idea is if you have Killjoy, you have this orb. You're not walking that way. Molly lands here. Molly pops here and here. Aren't you f Okay, she's just using one Molly. So they basically get guaranteed to be here. It's very awkward for them. I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad. But you almost surely do have to go for the... You gotta have big balls. So your mileage will vary if you're a passive Viper player. But if you're throwing this molly, your Killjoy's mollying, and you're doing this, it's probably really huge. I like it. I think you need Killjoy molly, though. Okay. Tech. Just bounce it off this pillar chat. Simple as that. Stand here. The molly lands. Over here. Bounces off the little thingy. And you line it up like that. Oh wait, oh, wait. Shit happens. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh no, we're chilling. He throws it. Oh my god, is he gonna walk through? <laughs> Who's our duo? Who's this fucker? Oh, of course, that's more how that's Wait, is that fucker. your smoke? <laughs> <laughs> you go. He really likes this orb. Honestly, I don't blame him. You can see them already trying to spam it, though. Looks like he's trying to peek over. Yeah, you can also, you also don't even need to, um, you don't need to come all the way over. Like this is my head. You see, you can actually peek. You're going to see like everybody. You don't even need to jump over. You're like only jumping if you're going to fight over here. It'd be really weird. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see this orb from that one. Bro, it's actually... I, this orb's actually really good. This orb's insane. Behind you, behind you. Bro, why does Nats just... <laughs> Well, why is he devolving into these like very animated facial expressions? Look at this. <laughs> Wait, he panicked. He panicked. He thought this was an enemy. He thought this was an enemy. Watch again. Watch again.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it matters that the orb is a bit to the right? It's honestly probably better. It's just a bit trickier. Is the is the windows even smaller? And yeah, it lets them come out here and it lets them play here. So the orb does need to be a bit to the right. So you can do that. We can walk this way into it. Let's play. I'm leaving you. Wait, B, B, B. Smoke B. You guys saw Stun chamber. Be no smoke B. So, last of the last of the. Okay. So, you probably think he's the craziest guy alive, and he is, but also, this place not as bad as you think. So, one, he's looking at his minimap. He sees them coming up. And two, the guy's holding the door. They actually don't know what side he's going to peek from. And so it's not too easy. Like they can come way over here and hold this side or they can come way over here, hold that side. But if they do that and they hold wrong, then their buddy over here is dead. So it's actually a, a decent peek. I wouldn't say it's like advantageous, but it's not bad because all of this hectic shit's going on. Got ours. Like for example, like uh, oh, he's got the two like mollies. I feel like this actually goes in the playbook. It's like so important to have that shorty with the play that he does. What the fuck? I'm pushing C. Careful, A or B. Maybe. I'll say they more. Nice. <laughs> I'm pushing C. Careful, A or B. <laughs> he's just like us for real chat. Fuck. He was like, you know what? They could be playing C. trigger discipline Careful, on me. <laughs> oh my god did you guys if you didn't show up to my premiere games yesterday i have to show you guys this round i was so sad i was so sad you have no idea okay so i'm hiding you got this the dude jumps over me. Yeah, I have no idea. This is actually <laughs> crazy. Wait, are you gay? But then she turns because she bumped into me. I was going for the trigger discipline. No! Oh, dude, what is happening? No, I had such a sick play if she didn't clear that. Feels bad. No. Feels bad. Open the door. What? Rena is secret. They're going to they're going to they're going to One of the Toxins going up. Welcome to my world. Toxins screen down. I'm not sure I buy the whole pop viper ult on flank bit there, chat. Damn. It was in the playbook, right? You're making me op on split. You can make Vipers ult flank. No, because one of those things is good. <laughs> okay. It's very straightforward. Like, literally, the important thing I want you to notice is that I just drew an arrow for every single route, except for stairs and upper. He mixes it up. He's unpredictable. He threatened flank. He threatens fast rotates. He opens the door. He threatens mount. He plays on site. Very tricky. He's mixing it up. It's hard to predict how he'll play. Other than the fact that he's definitely C. <laughs> That's predictable. Defensive playbook right there. Very straightforward. Let's look at attack. Oh, we're defaulting a wall. We're probably defaulting a wall because we're a uh, double controller. <clears throat> yep. 
Got a wall like this. Then eyes info for these guys. Uh, I'm guessing more to the right. One sec. I'm just winging it because his mini map is hidden. I guess it's more like that. As you can see, this wall makes it really awkward for these guys because you can just be walking across. You get no info. You can take all this space for free. This wall is not very good though. Um, for I wonder if you can get a heaven. I wonder if that's what he's lining up. It's not very good for single controller. I'm pretty sure he's defaulting this wall. Like this. I hope two control is clear enough, chat. <laughs> yes, fifteen. Uses the same exact wall orb that he uses on defense on attack. He's literally like orbing in this region. It's like the same idea. Except it's so that they can come out. But the the only difference is the enemy team's not expecting it, so they're probably not going to be playing around this. Like he's using the same orb to hit, which is really funny. I mean, it sort of shows you why smokes can be considered neutral utility. Like they can benefit both sides. Uh, reminder: we already have an orb for this. What is it here? Go check the other playbook for see how he's throwing it. Um, I believe it's like right above this thing, this corner. Goes right over. Gives you a perfect little smoke. I don't think he's throwing the same one, but it doesn't really matter. It's just important that you don't miss it. Flash. Oh, Marshall online. Marshall offline. Flash. He's so sneaky. I don't think he's wrong. Uh, I think it's pretty likely one of them tries to sneak this way. Yep. This is really hard though. This is highly contextual for him to walk over this way. So they know that one, the duelist that's playing on A site, they know there's one there. It's because numbers, the jet plays A. She contested the other last round. So she plays strong side. Two, they're at a disadvantage. She's likely to flank out. Three, it's like their bonus round. So like everything's adding up, making it really likely that she is to push out, which is why he's mollying. It's why he's orbing. So you got to understand that mollying and orbing here is not always good sometimes they're never gonna push that smoke so just keep that in mind because he's doing it this round because they're definitely gonna push it Ooh. oh this is a very common play with the door i don't know who popularized it but i see it a lot in my games too now i mean that's just doing it. you play close to the door and you play like left side here and for whatever reason, it's high E of X right now. Like in the current meta, that play pays off a lot. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. But it's becoming pretty predictable. You see Nas holding for it. And I mean, he gets a lucky gun barrel. I'm guessing that it's like considered high E of X right now because most people open the door. Yeah, great. Thank you. And then they flood through the left side. Like this. They're coming through this way. And so you're like ring around the rosy in them. I feel like you've seen this A execute like three rounds in a row now. Yeah. Look, well, look, if you hit A and it's worked, then why wouldn't you hit A? Like it's free. These guys don't fight for it effectively. And there's a lot of reasons why. Reason number one, no raise. Reason number two, no breach. Reason number three, no fade. Reason number four, no recon. This team will struggle a lot to fight for strong side. But the enemy team not adapt to it. What do you mean? Mr. Potato, 
how do you adapt to it you'd have to five stack and the moment they see it's five stack they'll just go see like this wall hard counters them notice they're trying to fight for it they're just trying to be sneaky but this wall is just a hard counter for the entire enemy team's composition like what are they gonna do like pov you're a jet well f you can't do anything pov you're reyna okay you flash through they break it well pov you're a omen wait you need like sky or fade or breach or sova or raise you need something and they don't have it and so this is they're hitting a crazy how many times i'll say like just keep doing something if it keeps working and then people like disagree with it they're like no way dude you gotta mix it up and then we watch the profiles it's like why are they just keep hitting a but, like i've been telling you this for a year Phantom. i'm just testing the new skin okay i'm using prison Phantom always. like it's just so free chamber finally got a good pick there it is I like that free fire yeah right. it's just initiator canyon dude like they have double controller plus sky and the enemy team has no initiator all right time to hit a the chamber literally has to make that peak like the reason why the peak is fine here is because our dude sat held across already so chamber is holding like this now he can't hold like this because notice where my scope is notice it doesn't see this if i'm holding here i don't see it and same if i'm holding here i don't see the right so if chamber is here right now and he's scoped he's got to be here hitting a flick and he's that's like good odds for us just hope for a flick yup and he's gonna because it's the only play for the chamber like so when we peek you'll notice he's aiming it's hard to see but he's aiming between us and that's why his shot ends up a bit on our side he misses the flick it's just not even a big deal if chamber gets one because he has to tp out as well <laughs> there's just no counter man seems like a rough time for the enemy team yeah i mean it is I've been AFK for the whole half. I haven't done anything. We're just winning on border. Like at this level, it's team comp diff. Like the team comp matters at this level because we've got Sky plus double controller. Like it, it's just too strong. And we have Raze. Like our comp is way too accurate and their comp is way too not accurate. He's staring down so his gun barrel doesn't go to the smoke. He did zero? No, 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 no. How was that zero? I hit zero bullets. I hit zero bullets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How? How is that zero, man? Uh oh. 
right, bro. Too much over. We're overcooking it. Play, let's play. All right, we've lost enough rounds. We're going to try C. <laughs> I mean, this is on them. They got lazy. Like, no, no, dude no, peeking fine. before his orb fine. goes up. Okay. They just started autopiloting. It's a neat molly. I don't think I need to put it. Put a line up in the playbook. He's bouncing at bend. Just make sure you're hitting like this wall over here. He's, a, he's landing in this area so that they can't fall back. This is actually landing even deeper. Because you, you will have to practice this to get a feel for it, but it's definitely feel, not lineup. Zoop. And the reason why something like this won't have a lineup is because one, he's run throwing. This is already just annoying to line up. And two, this area is frequently um smoked. It can even be one way. Like sometimes people are one way. And so because you won't really have anything to see, you sort of just have to have a feel for throwing it. I'm playing. Walk inside of my ult. Walk inside of my ult. Yeah, it's okay. Just walk. I'm gonna try to get take behind. Okay, it's gonna over soon. Okay. Ult is over. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh, then just hit your shots. All right, he's hopping. Uh, he's dropping an ult here. That's specifically, he's leaving this gap on purpose with the intent of dropping the ult later. It gives him this little bit out here to play in safely, as you saw. He can keep the poison recovering out here. And then he can fight over here, cover the lurker, and then he drops. It's really contextual because he has an operator. This is really good. Um, with a phantom, it's a bit worse, depending on the scenario. But keep in mind, he's using this ult. He's like aiming it deep over here to get it going that way. You can do a similar ult from up here. That's not it. Where is it? Nope. I forget. Is it the rocks? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a similar ult. It looks like this. Zoop. Um, this is a defender side ult. I use this one to bait them into walking over here. And I actually will. I'll be in the poison and I'll occasionally come out and like hold. I find it, it baits people out a lot, but it's pretty gimmicky. It's like super situational. That's why we only saw him use it once. Save. TLDR. Doesn't push straight into B instead goes through A but this is partially as we had initiator there's no initiator a double controller matchup tough Valorant is a dynamic game your games will also have an imbalance and you also have to play those imbalances put it in the playbook as a PSA for future playbook readers who just try to copy it one-to-one